wow, that transition is moving slowly because I'm making my computer do a lot of things. Hello, hello, and welcome to Extra Life 2021. I'm Nick. Am I centered on the cam? Good enough. This is Extra Life 2021. I already have a script here. I knew I was going to need it, and I was right. Uh, hey, everybody. I'm Nick, and I'm here for the next 12 hours and then another 12 hours tomorrow to play video games for Extra Life 2021. For those of you who are not familiar, uh, Extra Life is an event put on by Child's Play. Uh, Child's Play is an organization that works with the Children's Miracle Network hospitals to raise money for kids who are in those hospitals who need extended stay, who need procedures, who need things to pass the time while they are in there to make a very dark time uh, uh, a little more lighthearted and bearable. It helps them. It helps their families. It takes a huge weight off of everybody's shoulders, and that's why it is a fantastic uh, purpose, cause. That's why it's a fantastic cause uh, that I am happy to uh, put myself through far too many uh, contiguous hours of video games for. Um, so... Uh, hey, this is the start. This is the big beginning. This is uh, where we launch off. Oh, there goes a cat upstairs. She won't be having any of this. All right. Um, uh, we are entering the first hour. If you look at the bottom of the screen, I have the tracker up. And there is currently only one donation, and it was me. And I put it in back in August because uh, if I raised that much uh, in before the end of August, they sent me a very nice dice set, which... Um, is somewhere behind my backdrop, so uh, maybe I'll show it off later. <laughs> um, do a uh, thing I do want to say while we're talking about uh, donation totals for this stream. Uh, the finale is going to be something a little exciting, something I'm sort of uh, prototyping here this year. Is I'm going to do BMNG dot endurance. So for every ten dollars donated, that's going to add a lap to the total amount of laps I must complete in BeamNG before I am allowed to end the stream. So at $150 right now, uh, during that last hour or however long it takes starting in that last hour, I need to complete 15 laps and then the stream can be over. Um, we have a target of $500. So if we hit that, that's 50 laps. Uh, I want to say last year's total ran up to, I think we broke a grand. And if we did that again, that'd be a hundred laps. Um, uh oh, that's an uh oh for me. But at the same time, I'm super excited. Uh, yeah, I don't remember exactly. What, so I I want to say it was like like uh, we were in like the 1100, 1200 range. I, I do think you're right. Um, but my listen, how much of the past year do you remember? I don't remember much. Period. <laughs> um. But so uh, I'll be keeping an eye on that, and uh, as donations roll in during the course of the show, uh, I will try to keep everybody updated. And again, remember, all the money is going. I don't see any of it. Uh, the only thing I see out of it is I get to play BMNG longer, which, let's be honest, I do that anyway for fun. Uh, it's more a matter of you get to watch this time. All the money goes to the Children's Miracle Network hospitals, and you know, you, you, all the money that makes me drive is going to make a bunch of kids. Uh, bring some some levity bring some fun bring some relief into their lives so if you don't feel like doing it to make me drive a car do it to make some kids uh feel better in more ways than one hey we're going here and that's going to be our total but we are not doing this alone we are participating as part of team giant bomb uh i knew it's in my script to look this up it's not in my script is hey bring up the web page ahead of time so that i know what the totals are um for the team so give me one second right here i'll leave this up so we don't have to worry about this afterwards um so the main extra life game day was last week and most of the people did it um but as part of team giant bomb we have raised wow uh, one hundred and twenty-three thousand six hundred and ninety-four dollars so far this year, uh, and that's great. I, you know, like that's even even if you're here, you know, 
if if okay if you're here and you can't donate here maybe you can or, or even you can donate like a buck or two or five or ten or whatever is available to you because you know you can only help as much as you can without hurting yourself um then you know you share it it spreads out to people we have uh, uh how many people do we have on this team um but but you know I, i'm i'm gonna say oh we have 105 people on the team cool fantastic so you know with over 100 people working on this we're all working together so everyone who gets a little bit every bit helps and every bit goes to the children's network hospitals children's miracle network hospitals branding <laughs> um right and you know again it, it, uh what i was just saying like you know I'm, I'm going to be reading out the donations. I'm going to be reading out the, the, the financial totals uh, because that is, um, you know, that is the most obvious way to measure how much we've helped. But it's not just about that. Anyone who's uh, joining just to watch, you're keeping me company. That's keeping me going. That's supporting. If you share the link um, to either the stream page here or uh, I made a, a short link, bit.ly slash extra life Nick K that brings you to the donation page if you share that other people can watch other people can learn about it maybe other people will donate you know if, if it spreads far enough somebody who can donate will and then you've supported that way even if you could not do it uh financially directly so uh that is the top of the hour script more or less which uh we will see again later but for now let's get into the first game uh, and what I've decided to do this year is um, I've picked one game that whenever I'm here by myself and I'm just sort of flying solo, uh, I'm going to go back to this game. It's a game I've never played before, comes highly recommended. I've heard lots of people, you know, like highly recommended personally to me, but also highly recommended just in general people yelling excitedly about it into the void. And this game is... Whoa! Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. Um, let me look a little bit and get some levels adjusted here. Uh, I did not have to totally rebuild my... Um, I did not have to totally rebuild my... Uh, <laughs> levels, come on, what are you doing with me here? Um, I reorganized a lot of these scenes. I made some new fancy ones for this year, but um, I did not completely rebuild them. Uh, but I guess I did uh, not do all of the fancy. The 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 the. the. There now it'll. Now when I talk, it should duck the game audio. Is this is this true? Is this what's happening? Uh, threshold is at. No, let's put it like down here. Attack is like instant. Release can take a little longer. And let's go like. There, how about now? Oh yeah, that definitely quiets it down. Okay. Now I feel comfortable to... Oh my god. You know, you would think I would have done this a little bit earlier. Hey, that seems about right. When I go up, it goes down until there's a clear difference. Okay. Um, no, not okay. I'm finicky. Let's, let's put that release longer. Hey, how about that? Now that'll take it some more time to come back up. All right. Uh, if anybody gets a headache from listening to that, please let me know. I can adjust them on the fly. Um, boy, that is loud in my own headphone. Whoa. Okay. Hang on. Why would it trap the mouse on the menu? Why would you do that, video game? Okay. Um, good. My controller works. <laughs> some of these things you don't know. Um, so like I said, this is going to be my first time going through it. Uh, this is the second time I launched it. The first time was just to... Uh, get in the right resolution for capturing um i kind of don't know shit about it uh, 
It, this, this me. Sure. Ooh. Okay, I won't play. So, we got a donation. We got an anonymous. Is that 1969? It is so small. It is so small on my screen. Uh, let's see here. How do I get back to my page to see the donations we got coming in? Donation trackers. You know how it be. Um, boy, they need just like a donations received. How about that? Yes, 1969 from an anonymous donor. All right, thank you very much. Love to see new donations. Did I not? Did the alert box go off? Did I not hear it? Chat, let me know. Did, did the page dingle and I just missed it? Streamlabs, monitor only, mute output, right. So it should like go, it, sh it should fire. Um, <laughs> fair. Um, uh, oh boy, is this, Oh, brain. Okay. Um, hey, were you watching? Did the alert box fire? Was there a noise? I don't have sound. Because you don't have sound. Because I'm sitting right here. Okay. Popped up on the bottom banner for a moment, but I don't think it made a noise. Interesting. Cool. Hey, you know what? It popped up, right? So, oh no, not on the bottom banner. I have uh, the Streamlabs alert box there. So, to fix, to see if that's working, I go to Streamlabs. And let's see. Maybe I need to update that alert box. Maybe they broke it on me and didn't tell me. I go here. And let me fire a test one of these. Yeah, that's... That's the test donation. But that's what's supposed to pop up. That's weird if it didn't then. Okay, well, it's working, so... I don't know. Um, thank you for the donation. <laughs> what does that bring us up to? You know, uh, one, one sixty nine sixty nine. Yes, good, excellent. I love the math on that. Very nice, very nice. Um, okay, back to the game. All right, I won't play Zengetsu, even though I want to, because I did play the three DS thing that they did, the like NES styled one. Um, the Dracuvania 3 styled one. That's not what the game is called. Um, and he's like a man with a long coat and a sword. And that's really my kind of dig. But <sighs> Miriam is the way to play. Let's let's play it as intended. I'm gonna... Alright. Both ears are covered. I am now fully in the zone. It's like a sleepwalker. Please do not wake me. I have my... Um, artisanally gamered fuel. The Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass. But not all welcomed the change. In 1783, just as the fires of the Laki eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after inner city. Message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders, humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders. And in doing so, through the gates of the world open to the Countless innocents died. And though the church succeeded in vanquishing the hell's end, steep price had already been paid and collected. As for the shard binders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial light. However, two survived. boy for whom by some miracle the right did not prevail. A girl who 
despair arrived altogether on account of the strange slumber that afflicted her just before it could begin. Ten years had passed. Mankind too soon forgets tragedy. The demons had returned, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Jeebel is the architect of this new, blood-stained ritual. Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, glancing towards the inevitable. I thought you just said that the alchemist guild were the ones who did the big shit in the first place. How were they not all rounded up and executed? By the church, I assume? Stance. Johannes, are you certain it was... It was Jeebel's doing, Miriam. No mistake. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. He's a good soul. I know. I know how you feel. But the facts are apparent. And the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls. Miriam, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brother subjected you to, there's no forgiving it. Oh, so he's one of the good ones? Is that what I'm hearing here? It was their transgression, not yours. You... You always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Uh... A-A-A-B? All alchemists are bastards? Is this... Well... Let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jeebel is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. Oh, okay, so are we to take it that she doesn't have, like, wicked sweet stained glass tattoos on her, like, all over? <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? Something happened there. Um, I wish I had the answer. Yeah, right there. She's got those, like, thigh top tattoos. I guess they're not tattoos. I guess she's a crystal maiden? That's, that's a Dark Souls thing, isn't it? All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was advanced, arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh. I see. We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. It's always like a little weird to me. It was like, we just had the omniscient narration, right? And then, but like, now these characters are like adding details that it was like, oh, like the narration on later was like, oh, this was a mysterious thing and nobody quite knew what was going on. And then the first thing we hear is like, no, actually these two like, didn't know exactly what was going on, but had a better idea of what was going on. It's like, I don't know. I don't know why that's weird to me. Make your omniscient narrator omniscient. I had the chest there packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. Put it in. Oh, there we go. Okay. We got jumps. And what happened to that chair? Oh, we got kicks. Stance, and then you kick, and then she stays in kick stance. Oh, that's that's the kind of level of detail I love to see. Whoops. Hell yeah! <laughs> Out in the alley breaking glass. Oh, man. Oh, shit. This game rocks. <laughs> okay. Equipment. Okay. K. 
Can I... Okay, so... I will note that there are two slots here, but it's only letting me equip, equip one. Uh, oh, Miriam likes them. Oh, they do. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, all right, I guess she's a crystal lady. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Scarf is its own slot. Yeah, all right, rad. Shards, oh boy. Oh, I'm glad I have buttons. Um, Inventory, Archivis. Good, you're prepared. The next order of business is to. Oh no! I'll take care of it. Okay, that's not nearly as cool as kicking. Whoop! Cerulean splash. Was that a shard? <laughs> All right. I'd forgotten the way it felt, like uninvited claws scraping across my bones. Oh, that sucks. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. Okay. okay mm. So. <sighs> It's like if you took, like, a neodymium magnet and threw it at Wolverine, and it just, like, hit him, and then just souped in and stuck to his bones, and then he got stronger for it. It sucks, but it's good. Is that what I'm hearing here? Did you... No, because she... I don't think she did evolve, because she didn't, like, get a Gatling gun arm or become a quadruped or anything weird. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually, the crystal will devour you. I haven't seen Breaking Bad. I can't. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. I know my body's limits better than anyone. You've been asleep for ten years. And I'm going to need all the power I can get. You've been asleep for ten years. You got muscle atrophy, lady. A, I've I've heard from uh, astronauts to come back. B, I played Metal Gear Solid Five. I think I know what I'm talking about. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. Ah! Same. <sighs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> How do they get inside? Uh, well, the first one just busts right through the wall, the so... The from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. Alright, I guess, I guess that's addressing it. Is that like they're like, leveling up makes you stronger because, like... Level zero is muscle atrophy. Like, it's are we all like standard, like level 70 or something? Galleon Minerva. Yeah. A oh, low kick. Okay. I hear it's one of these games. I gotta kick everything. Consumable. What a potion. That'll be here. All right. This device responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. What? Uh. Oh, I got a hand stick. Wow. Like you just don't care. Okay. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh boy, hang in there, computer.
Who's Oh, that is a platform. I won't lie, the 3D I feel like makes it a little hard to really um Oh, hi. when it happens and rips enemies apart okay uh... hi oh yep I know a hammer Joe when I see one what Using the head as a flail? Okay. Yep. No, it's... it's giving me options! Even stronger. Nah, I like Power Wave. Rusted Ring. It's a Rusted Ring. I don't think this scarf is a weapon, but... Oh! He got jumps! Alright, anything cool up here? Oh, yes. Uh, which one of these is gonna go to the boss? Hi, guy. Ah! I was trying to kick the chest open. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Now it's video games. Uh, what did I just get? I just got a new dress. A country dress. Love a dress that makes your mind go up. You know, I should have the schedule up somewhere, because I can already tell that this at this rate this is gonna be a game that I get into and forget to like do other things. Ooh. Okay, what's better, a dress or a tunic? The dress. Carpet ride a whole new world. Nope. I'm glad that it's showing chess on the map. Uh, oh, God. Oh, and a little dot of which we've just come. That's cute. God, which way do I want to go? Oh, I'm going through here. Down or out. Oh, hello. Hey, a book. Oh my god, okay. Slash, thrust, strike. Sure, fire, ice, thunder. Okay, light, dark, poison, cure, stone. <laughs> oh, you know. Just stop and have a little read. Here we go. Oh, you just have a little sit. Oh, you just have a little sit and it saves. I love a game with a save couch. Uh, this, Ico, um, Crazy Cross 64. I think that had a save couch. Whoa, hi. You're a thing. Whoa. Oh, this one's purple. Directional shard. Flame cannon. Ooh. Oh, so you go blip. <laughs> Candle drop a mana rose when destroyed. Mana rose is a magical rose that slightly replenishes HP. Okay.
cotton. I did not know that Miriam vapes. I feel like the the regular kick into duck kick. Oh, you do get the diagonal kick. They sure did make a one of these games. ship seems to be having some issues. Oh! Okay. Hmm. And then, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's a teaching moment right there. The only way to go is the way that'll let you know what that tower do. Oh, map. Okay. Alright, I should have gone down there earlier. Okay. Uh, do I go all the way back? Yeah, I go all the way back. Sorry, folks. There's a reason why I call these segments the long game. Because I play it. L long? There we go. A writhing limb? Ugh. Like, I'm already not that into calamari, so... Wacha! Could I just be throwing magic? Yes. That's big magic. All right, so we're saying, uh, hmm. It's just a cool recovery room. Whoops. Ha! Ah. ah. Hairband. Hairband. No. Oh, so that'll be a head. Uh, good. Oh! <gasps> it changes the model. Now we're talking. I don't know why that's something I care so much. A gun? Wait. I got a, I got a, I got a gun. That's what it's for. Okay. All right, good. I can just start dumping. No, I keep. Uh, does this wall break? Money, money, stuff. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm glad I came back all this way to get a gun. If I fire that in the air, will it not stop my momentum? Bop, bop. 
Bye. Because it does like fire down diagonally, so. That seems strong. Oh no! Did it get did it get overly toasted? Is it salvageable? How light? I'm assuming that's yeah. Oh, it's salt. I got two metals. Short sword. Uh, if it does more damage, I do want to use it. Attack eight, attack twelve. It's attack twelve. Ooh, but DPS. Okay. Hey, bookshelf. These poor books. Oh my god, okay. There's command inputs, so what about... Oh, she says it. Oh, I'm out of MP! Dragon shoes. Sugar. Uh, because this is closed, I'm guessing this is a save room. Yeah, this game rules. <laughs> like, wh whenever it's like you're trying to like make a successor to a beloved game, which holds up really well over time. Like, you could go black. You could go back and play Symphony of the Night right now, and it's still a fantastic game. Um, what did I just get? Um. You could go back and play Symphony of the Night now, and it's still a fantastic game. Um, but, like, this definitely feels like... Like, the... Sometimes it's rare for, like, the right lessons to be learned, you know? But it's just like, yeah, no. Like, we're going to have, like, the weird, like, secret command inputs. We're going to have, you know... Like, I'm over here, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, this is, like, some of that legally distinct music. Wow! Dude whiffs up close. Cool. Um. But aside from that, this is like everything you want. We've got secrets. Oh, there's something up there. I don't have jumps. <laughs> Simon. Simon. God, which one's Simon? Let me tell you. That Richter's got good hair on him. If you ask the portrait. I saw that picture of Richter and I was like, mmm, that's my portrait of Rune right there, baby. What are... Hey, listen, Orb, I don't know what your deal is. I'm gonna kick you. Come on, you wanna have this fight? You wanna do this? You wanna go? Huh? 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 Oh, if you hold up, her leg moves. As though she was taking some sort of sub weapon stance, but actually in this game you have like 11 sub weapons and they're all on their own unique buttons. I hope this boat we can come back to later when I have a double jump, because clearly... Unless I'm going to fall in from the top, that would be cool. Why? What? Okay.
way more. Uh, 17. Yeah. That's my deal. Attack cancel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get them doubles in. Hitbox the size of your head. Fool! Uh, yes, absolutely. Oh, no, maybe it doesn't. I could have swore it did that before on something. Oh, a shortcut. Oh, hey, guy. Dull hammer. Whoops. Sea urchin. Oh, you know what? I should save? I should save all the time. I should save, not just sit. Sometimes you just want to sit. You don't want to write a new journal, you know? Oh, actually, one hit in the head with that gets him. Okay. So I'm guessing it glows because I can move it. Now, if you want to just be Castlevania, we can just be Ca Oh, no, you can't do the, the hold it out and whip it around move. Well, thanks. Thanks anyway, but... Money. I don't need attack cancels. I just need to hit three people at once. Right. Oh, I touched his hand. I'm already getting too confident. Oh, right. Well, that one's... That's a boss door of some kind. Okay. Save room? Oh, rats. Uh, assuming this is a boss fight. I, this is where I want to save if no works. Whoa, cutscene. There he is. It's the boy. So, Sleeping Beauty, you've decided to awaken. Tell me you didn't do this. It doesn't make any sense. How does it not? After all the sins humans wrought upon us. Johannes told me what they did to you. And you're right, it's horrible. But what you're doing now is just as bad. No. No, there you are very wrong. What the alchemists did was reshuffle our bodies. What I intend to do is reshuffle the world. I'd say I've earned the right. Join me, Miriam. You're the only one who understands the pain I feel. What it's like to no longer be human. She was asleep for ten years. What? I never thought I'd hear those words from you. I was the one that came to you broken. Convinced I was a monster. And you told me... This is nonsense. You told me... Our power doesn't...
doesn't make us good or bad. Our choices do. I've given up on my humanity, but you restored my hope. Don't you remember? <gasps> Master Jeevil, we must return. Oh, it's a grimory. Yes. Miriam, I tire of reminiscing with you. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Then first prove you can find me. Along the way, you'll have no choice but to absorb shards and avail yourself of the powers of hell. Metal. <laughs> if you can still claim to be human at the end of it all, then perhaps I might be more inclined to listen. Come, Greg. We're leaving. Whoop. Debo, wait. Dude disappeared into a moon. I wish to be so extra that I bring my own red moon with me. Whoa, hey! Hi, lady! No, nah, this is fine. Okay, it hit. Ah, okay. Okay, yep. Okay. Okay. I know video games. What are we doing here? You swipe the stage? Yep. Now you go the other way? Now you do slappies? What are we doing? Okay! Okay, yep. Nah, we're doing fine. Cool, that's not a lot. Oh, I have a couple. Alright, which side are you gonna do it on? Yep, same way. This way, yep. And then you disappear. And we go back over here. Sweep. Ah. I need to not stand that close. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's 2021. You got a problem with boobs? You know, whenever I'm faced with direct conflict like that, I also shatter in a pretty similar way, just on the inside. I saw it. Just a flicker. That was the Jeebel I know. I will put a stop to all this. Hey, um, remember how our boat was- whoa! Was that David Hater? Oh, the boat did make it. We're here. Was this a village? What happened to it? The demons Jeebel summoned? They've moved faster than we hoped. Miriam, we have to hurry. This was where we were supposed to meet our contact. All right, but wait. Let me clear the area. There are still demons about. Oh, 
good. We do get to go back to the boat for searching purposes. Good. I do wish I had like a dash. I already feel the need to move faster. Whoa, hey. That's now that's the big rat that makes all the rules. Come on. Come on. Oh, that rat had cash. Whoop. Oh, lady. <laughs> kicking. Behold the power of kicking. It is used to heal. Save lives. Thank you, Miriam. You know who I am. And that means... I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner, Dominique. So this is our contact. Yes, the church sent me. As you can see, I know a thing or two about expelling demons. An exorcist. And we're lucky to have you, Dominique. And the church you, Miriam. Thank you for guiding her here, Johannes. You wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important, but you should tell us why you need her. Miriam isn't one to shy away from danger, but she deserves to be armed with all the facts. Yes, very well. I told you when I contacted you that the Shadbinder Jebel is responsible for summoning the castle. Yep, met him, talked to him, caught up. Yes, there's no mistake about that. He admitted as much. What? You spoke to him? Oh yeah, you missed that. Then let me get right to the point. I find it curious that the outpouring of demons, facilitated by one Shardbinder, just happens to coincide with the sudden awakening of the other Shardbinder, after exactly ten years. You're right, it is strange. But the Church doesn't get to drag Miriam into this just because the timing is odd. Oh, do you decide for her then? I asked you to bring her here so she could see the horrors that have befallen the village and make an informed choice. I have no intention of forcing you, Miriam. You don't have to. I gave Jeebel my word that I would stop him. What happened here only strengthens my resolve. <laughs> it's like, listen, this was already personal. <laughs> don't try to guilt me into it, I'm already there. Thank you, Miriam. I am sorry to put it on your shoulders. Um, pardon me? Oh yeah, there's a kid. Oh, hello there. Are you alright? We didn't mean to ignore you. I'm alright, thank you. Is that David Hayter? You are quite welcome. Do you have a name? Anne. What a lovely name. Anne, you shouldn't be out here. Let me take you somewhere safe. Oh, all right. <laughs> Come on, this way. All right, I'll just stand out here. And on my hip, then. I do love the big ominous castle in the background. Like, this is a good friendly meeting, but, um... <laughs> now that the meeting is over... This all just feels a little weird. This music in this background. It's good, but it's just funny that it doesn't match. Oh, whoa. I did some looking around before, and this place seems secure. Yes, agreed. Johannes, you, Anne, and I will remain here. We can assist Miriam from safe ground. What? We can't ask her to brave the castle alone. Don't be foolish. She is trained in combat. 
are you, we would only get in the way. But that's not the point. I'll be fine, Johannes. Please don't worry. <sighs> All right. But we'll be here if you need us. Let's not waste any time. We have a lot to do. Come back if you need anything. I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. Again, how is that not super legal for you to be doing, dude? Thank you, Johannes. Like, I'm not even saying it would be just for that to be illegal, but... Y'all! I know you're strong, but... Be careful. I mean... She was sent by the church... So she's, I'm assuming she's some equivalent of a nun. So yeah, she's a penguin, yeah. <laughs> I will. Cool. Uh, all right. Hey, what do we got in here? Miriam, welcome. Since this is your first time here, let me tell you a little bit about the supply post. Okay. Uh, please. <laughs> I have made arrangements so you can buy and sell items here. Cool. I would have liked to provide what you need for free, but seeing as we are largely cut off from the church's funds out here, I will need money in order to keep the supply post stocked. I hope you don't mind paying. No, I understand. I appreciate you doing what you can. I can also buy shards from you, if you no longer need them. I thought they grafted onto my bones? Wait, is trade in demon shards even allowed? Also good question. Of course. The church would sooner gather them up and make certain they are purified. Alright. I am not permitted to sell them, but I can buy them off you. You may want to keep extras since possessing multiple shards of the same type amplifies its power, but there is a limit to how far that can go. Okay, so do shards rank up by collecting them multiple times, and then after some point they are just dupes? Okay. So you're not selling the ones that are grafted onto your bones. Once they've been grafted, you're just holding the rest in your pockets. Okay. Because I, I was going to say, like, for a second there, I was just like, okay, if you can, like, if selling them means, like, ungrafting them and no longer having access to them, does that mean there's going to be, like, a secret good end where actually you sell all of your your shards and then you fight the final boss without any demonic shard power and that's you being all human and doing a fight? And more importantly, if you carry a large number of shards, your body's corruption may accelerate. But I'll find a way to deal with that myself. I still recommend selling your shards as a means of making money. All right. I know you're looking out for me. I think that explains everything. Now, would you like to have a look around? I really like Miriam's attitude. I really like... I don't know. Just being like... Everybody's like, hey, we gotta hurry. Hey, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm understanding. Like, that's... <laughs> I love to see, like, even talking directly with, you know, the bad guy. They were having a conversation, and technically, they didn't fight. He left, and then there was a big water lady that we fought. Theoretically, that's not fighting him. What are you looking to buy? Well, we got battle shoes, lethal shoes. These are worse. Oh, these are worse than my sword, though. Right, because I'm using the Claymore. That's attack 17. Nodachi! Ding dang, everybody! A Muscatoon. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, they're just giving me stuff off the, off the top here. Okay. <sighs> well, I need... Good shoes. Is this right? Thank you. And oh, give me that Garbo hat. 
Oh, it's not like garbage, like Garbo. Okay. Wow, it really disappears into that little background. Uh huh. Yeah, that's yeah. That's what I was thinking. It's like, oh, Garbo. It's got my name on it. Oh, like Greta Garbo. Hmm. Maybe. What do I not need? Uh, like, I'm assuming the alchemy is going to use these mats. That's why they have their own um, category. Oh, writhing limb is a mat. Hmm. Don't like the, a branch. What am I not going to be using? Oh, great sword. Uh Is this right? Thank you. Is this right? Thank you. Is this right? Many thanks. Is this right? Many thanks. Is this right? Then we have a deal. That did not get me a decent amount of gold that I was hoping. Is this right? Then we have a deal. Wait, did I just sell her favorite hat? Oh, I forgot to give this to you. It's the key to the building. You can use it to explore further in. Thank you. I invited the other survivors inside where it's safe. They all have troubles that need resolving. If you can spare them the time. Oh, NPC quests. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Come back any time. I'll be praying for you. I do love helping randos in video games. Hey, what's the girl got to say? Oh, hello, Miss. Oh, you're looking fit as ever. Oh, I hope I don't have to talk to her much. <sighs> Dominique, what is all this machinery? That is photographic equipment we've been working on. Photographic? To put it more plainly, it allows me to capture images of real life. Landscapes, people. What? Really? Uh, can I try it? Unfortunately, I don't have the silver bromide I need. Oh. I'll see if I can find it. Be right back. Whoa! I understand why they're lethal. They got a freaking knife in them. <laughs> Holy cow! Oh, I can't do text in here? No, because it's only with specific boots, not anything of the boot class. Hey, what's in here? Waystone. Ah, uh, here she is. You have to marvel at the church's resources. Look at what they've provided for us. I know, it's incredible. So, what I can do for you here in the workshop is take materials you bring me and transmute them into new items. Crafting. But the alchemy is easier to show you than explain. Here, I have some materials we can use. So let's try transmuting them. Pre-transmute. So, what'll it be? Okay. It's 1 p.m. Uh, I mean, I believe I'm here, right here, until 2? Uh, where would I have that information? That's a great question. Um, oh no, I'm here until 3. Okay, so we got two more hours before we're going anywhere. Cool. Pelicus? Ooh. I could make a Nodachi. Pirate hat? Make armor? Okay. Bat wings? Ooh. Oh, you can make shoes. You need hound skin, which I do not have. Toy shoes. Oh! <gasps> They squeak, and they're stronger. Oh, I can't wait to get those. Give me that leather and rats. Kukri. Epe. Oh, the invisible blade. What? 
It's made of ectoplasm, so it's a ghost sword? Okay. The Dawn Blade. Jeez, 8 bit coins? Excuse me? Is there, like, an arcade machine in here somewhere? Oh my god. Shield weapon. Oh, okay. Okay. Well. Okay. The reference weapons. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, that looks the like the Doom Slayer sword. Also, like these aren't super. Why is that a rapier? These don't look super strong, so. Well, I guess there's like there is like an enhanced something, right? Oh, a strange rod. Is there a keyblade in here somewhere? Ooh, ambivalence. It's a good name. Bunny ears. Well, I am gonna need that. <clears throat> the gunman scarf. Creature fight. <gasps> Oh no, bunny! Oh. Alright, well, I know the build I'm going for. I'm not saying it's a good build, I know what I'm but I'm going for it. Um do I want the armor? Uh No, I think I'm good for now. Alright, so we have intelligence and mind. But the Magic attacks have set costs, so I'm guessing one is like magic damage and the other one is like maybe magic recovery rate? Cooking. Just make butter. Just make pizza. Just make pizza. More video games where you make it a pizza. Please? Make pizza dough. Okay. Got it. Dismantle things. Uh, I could have dismantled instead of sold. Well, I went the wrong way. Uh, oh, I don't have the stuff to do that. <laughs> Just gunpowder. Okay. Coverage. Number of projectiles. Wait, that's projectile. Interesting. Once I've transmuted an item, I'll pass it on to Dominique so she can carry it at the supply post for you. Okay. I'll do my best to inform you of what items you can make from what materials. But when it comes to items I don't know about, you'll have to find a formula for me and bring it here. Okay. I understand. So there will also be blueprints. Also, the demon crystal you've obtained, the shards, those can be transmuted the same way as items. Each shard requires specific materials, but it's worth it to make your shards more useful. Try it when you get the chance. I think I will. Also, neither one of us has been eating well. No wonder, considering the struggle we've been through to survive. If you bring me the ingredients, I can use alchemy to prepare meals for us. I thought that was just called cooking. With proper nutrition and a varied diet, you have the potential to get much stronger. Oh! Oh, stuff my face! I can, I can do that. I'm pretty decent at that, as it turns out. Hi, lady. You there? It was awful. Those monsters came out of nowhere. We ran for dear life. Where are the others? Dead, most of them. My dear husband included. <sighs> Those devils have to pay. Those murderers. You look strong, miss. I'm begging you. Help me. If it's within my power. Oh, thank you. My name's Lindsay. What's yours? Miriam. Well, Miriam, I'll gather whatever information I can about the monsters that wronged us. I want you to hunt down the monsters and take vengeance on them. The efforts won't go unrewarded, I promise you that. All right. I'll do it. 
Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Yeah, vengeful widow who runs the bounty guild. Okay, I like it. Help my husband rest in peace. Kill that murderer dead. Jeez. I mean, sure, but jeez. Oh, I guess that's what the key is for. <laughs> Yeah, good. Save with all of that tutorializing out of the way. The stairs go down. I want to walk into the screen. Or out of the screen. Here we go. Ooh. Nip. Bullets up. Oh, hey. There's an upstairs. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought it was going to be. Okay, well, I got one. Yo, I love that space out there. Oh, right, they came back. Good boots. So it does come up with quest progression. And it's gonna be only these little ones, or the the ground-based ones, the ones what unmelt. What's blue up there? Why so blue? Oh. Those aren't... Okay, good. I guess you can't sell those. Good, 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 good. I wouldn't want to. Uh... Oh, my God. I guess I wasn't expecting Miriam to be a cosplayer, but... Okay, that's definitely a technique. Flashing air... No, hatchet heal. Down, down, X. Okay. Thank you! Thank you! Hi, I'm here to go... other places first. <gasps> Yo... Yo... Out of my way, I need to go back to play dress up. That's... That's not the way that that door would get locked. Hey, excuse? Did I just, like, do a headshot? And these are the birds that I assume I'm gonna get the... 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 Gale Shard level up mats from. Man, she kicks so fast. She like a Chun Li. Oh, I didn't want a melting skull. There we go. All right, first you. Have you learned anything new? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Good work. Here's your reward. Did this bring you happiness, lady? Have you learned anything new? Here's what I've turned up on the Oh, jeez. Was that thunder? That was thunder. Okay. Cool. Rainy weekend. Um. 
I guess then maybe it's worth saying, uh, in case something terrible happens, um, I have a local recording going. Um, as long as power stays good, we're fine. But if, er, like, if internet goes out, I'll keep playing and I'll, we'll catch up later on the record. Um, if power goes out, well, I'll go down until power comes back. Yeah, that's the way things go. But I don't know what kind of storm we're supposed to get. I didn't think it was supposed to be that bad. Help my little sister Rosie rest in peace. Kill those murderers dead. Hey, can I just targets for me? Here's what I've turned up. I can just take all of these at once, right? Oh, hemp. Help my cousin Annette rest in peace. Kill those. Yep. Got any targets for? Here's what I've turned up. Help Doctor Simon rest in. Kill those. Okay. Have you learned any? Here's what I've turned up. Help my neighbor Lisa rest. Kill those. I hope it gets like less and less related to her. Like eventually it's just like help the milkman who quit his job twelve years ago rest in peace. So, what'll it be? Uh, the answer to that question is no. Oh rice. Um dismantle. I don't need three rings. Alkahest? Oh okay, I can't break down for free. This is important. News. Okay. Where were all the special... Was it not? Here we go. Move them up on me. Do I want any of these? Is it only safe ring? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you turn rings into bigger things. Okay, so I don't want to just sell and dismantle everything. Good to know. Good to know. Um, hmm. I mean, that's... Is that a lightsaber? Maybe I... Johannes, can you tell me more oh. about what happened ten years ago? It started when the interests of the rich shifted away from the spiritual and esoteric in favor of more material investments. The alchemist's research was expensive. The guild members didn't want to lose their wealthy patrons. So they warned again and again that demons would come if people let go of their spirituality. But people don't change that easily. So the alchemists took a more drastic measure. You mean us? The Shardbinders? Yes. It shames me that I was even connected to what they did. But at least you have the facts of it. It's all right. Thank you for telling me. Time to push forward. Our headshots are thin. Melting bones. Ugh. Well, like I should push normal forward, but. Tomba. And apparently Klonoa ain't bad either. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so I'd be going this way anyway. Oh, I wonder if they like... No, not necessarily. Okay. Oh, you could mess it up from going that way, in fact. Oh no, because you can pick it back up. Oh, is this supposed to be like a cool castle approach that I just totally skipped over? <laughs> gift. Hurl your equipped weapon at enemies. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <sighs> Just chilling. <laughs> you know. Oh. This game's cool so far. And I feel like this is a fairly smart thing to do if it's going to play with the idea of, like, we can... Whoa, that skybox. Mm. Like, if we're going to play with the ideas of, like, what, um... <laughs> hey, gamers. Rise and grind. <laughs> Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yo, it's dark in here. Yo, it's darker in here. Whoa, entrance. Cool. If it's going to be playing with the ideas of, like, you know, making a cool set piece and, like, showing it off and, like, that's, like, a... Yeah, okay, that's a lot of rain all of a sudden. Wow. Um, then it's like a cool thing to do, because like sometimes you, you you play one of these games and it's like a lot of mm, Kickstarter backers. And like it's a lot of, uh, you know, the, depending on the zone, it's a lot of hallways that look very much the same and are, are like... aren't always the most distinguishable from each other, but, like, if you really want to play around with being, like, like, yeah, not only are you in this zone, but we're gonna have, like, these unique scenes around it. That's cool. Okay, he's got jumps. Whoops. Blap. Little bit of physics, okay. Now we in it, now we in the castle, now we exploring. Whoop! There we go. Okay, so that's that duplicate shard that we were warned about, told about? we got here thousand blossoms just keep mashing it with rapier singer and kazikli hey rickson what's going on sorry i have the chat further away from the screen than normal Ooh. you joined us playing bloodstains we are an hour and a half in to 24 hours of extra life. We're at, what is it, 169.69, which is a pretty good donation total. Or rather, it's pretty nice. It's twi twice nice. Okay. Blah! Yeah, we're doing extra life! So, I'm here today from 12 to midnight, and I'll be here tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or longer, because, um... Oh, right, so what does that mean? Um... For the, the finale tomorrow, I'm doing, uh... endurance. So for every $10 donated, uh, by the time we get there, I'm doing a lap in BeamNG. So, 
at $169, I'm doing 16 laps. So whoever donates a dollar gives me another lap. Summon that. Whoop. I remember your cousin, Orb. The, the racehorse, I guess? Ah. Am I missing something? Is there like severe damage range on strikes? Yeah, that weather is going nuts out there. It's splashing on me a little through the window, but that's okay, it keeps me cool. The, oh, oh! Oh, come on, did I not? Is it a whiffs up close kind of situation? Hey, guy. Oh, God, good luck out there. But yeah, you know, we'll be here like all day. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I got him, finally. I'm not gonna even try. Spin towards enemies and transfer the momentum to your blade. So quarter forward back with those things. I do not know if I have any of those. Oh, is this one of them? Nope, that's just money. Whilst attempting to create my homunculus, I discovered a strange formation of white crystal growing on the subject. What is it? A sign, at long last, that my studies are progressing? I must observe it diligently and learn all I can. The crystal I discovered appears to be multiplying. Slowly, its corruption spreads through the cadaver I chose as a subject. It is a marvelous substance, neither entirely a liquid nor a solid. As soon as I have enough, I shall begin experiments to discover its other properties. Oh no. Listen, science. Whoa. That's, mm. Yeah, what is with these damage ranges? Love to hear about illicit science going on. Hey, also real quick, love to see that there is some sort of door in the floor under the blood fountain. Is something impaled on it? Oh, yeah, something impaled on it. All right, I guess that'll open later into something. Gr Am I? Oh, I have passive mana regen. Okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense for like mind. Is that? Did I walk past journal stuff? You know what? I'm not really a reader. I'll check that later. Stone mask. Oh, are we JoJo's? one? There we go. Hydrate. Oh, I gotta hydrate. I got one of these right here. You gotta, you gotta have your liquids. I am on camera, right? I don't know. Listen, I feel like I set everything up in somewhat of a rush. Even though that's not true. But it's how I feel, so I'm constantly just like, uh, is it fine? Is it good? Is it working? If anything's not working, let me know. Like I said, I don't I still don't know if uh, audio balance is particularly right. Uh, Alright, cool. Thank you, thank you.
later I got guests joining, so it's going to be even harder to keep all this right. Who's this? Oh, it's this dude. Uh. Miriam? It can't be. Alfred? Why are you here? Johannes, that fool of an apprentice should have stayed out of this. You have a lot to explain for. After all the terrible things you've done? All that is in the past. I'll not be defending my actions to you. Don't I deserve it? You were like a father to me. Well, enough, child. I am here for the book. Jeebel has the book. The book. What are you talking about? Are you a librarian now? If you don't already know, then let us keep it that way. Yeah. Whoa. Alfred, how are you still alive? Well, he seems to be some sort of wizard, and you know, you know how wizards what be. What were you thinking of coming here? You can answer my question first. All that matters is that I am alive. Did you come here for the book? <laughs> you added alive like that was a qualification, dude. Book? <coughs> the Libra Logaya? Kazinheit. Make no mistake. I won't let anyone touch that tome but me. Not even you should touch it. Didn't what happened ten years ago teach you anything? I don't have time to argue with you. I just hope you are wise enough not to get in my way. What? You know full well my power exceeds yours. Take Miriam and leave this place. Otherwise, you will die. Whoop! I came here because something didn't feel right. But I didn't expect him. Johannes, what is the Lee below Gaius? It's... It's a book the Alchemy Guild once possessed that allows for the summoning of spirits. Okay. The Guild used it to bring about the Calamity ten years ago. And the Shardbinder's crystal acted as a kind of catalyst. Makes sense. A book like that shouldn't even exist. I know. Alfred must be trying to restore the Alchemy Guild to power. But we cannot let him lay hands on the Liber Logion. <sighs> Alright, if you want to rephrase it as this guy is like... Like a rebel alchemist, there's something cool about the concept of a he rebel alchemist. People had it. You know, I think I might have seen it. It makes sense, considering the situation we're in. He must have gotten his hands on it after surviving the sacrifice. So now I have to stop Alfred, too. No, let's focus on Jeebel. If we can get to him and the book before Alfred does, we kill two birds with one stone. Good point. All right. Dominique might know what to do about Alfred in the meantime. I'll head back to the village and see what she has to say. All right. I'll head back to the village when I find another transporter room because I'm not walking back that far. Ah! Ah! Oh! The blade extends my reach, but it has a separate hitbox that does less damage? It's still the boot that does full damage? Is that what's happening here? Oh, it does additional damage. Okay. Alright, that's that's actually just cool then. Ow. That makes a lot of sense and is cool. Okay. I, I like that. Yeah, I wanna. I wanna be over there. I wanna be where the people are. That's... Like, not true in the least. Hey, you you want to go? My fireball won't reach. Whoa. Hey, I got the... What is this room? I love it. It's deep. Uh, can we not... I'm at, like, half health. Let's, let's go refresh everything first, and then we'll... See, a room kind of like this. Like, we had our cutscene in this room, but now it's kind of just like a short room. And, like, I don't know. 
Like, to, to me, that makes it harder for the cutscene to be memorable when the room itself ends up then just being, like, a weird liminal space. Like, it's like, no, the, the remarkable thing about this room is that it had a cutscene. Uh, no, that kind of just makes the cutscene feel a little unremarkable. I don't know. That's, that's, that's how it always feels to me, at least. Oh, I have shards. I have Gale. Okay, rank one, grade two. Rank will increase coverage. What does grade increase? There we go. Bone mort. Oh, right. Yep, you do your thing. And then you're gonna leap. And I need to fully slide under that, but I'll, I'll take one hit. And that's not bad. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Too quiet. Garden of silence. Oh, that would be why it's so quiet. Okay. Ooh, check out that mocha weed. Whoa! Ooh! What? <laughs> what is up with my dude here? Inexplicable. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Is that. No, oh, we can go this way. Checking every room. Several months have passed since I wandered into the castle. I have managed to survive thus far by rummaging through treasure chests without the monsters taking notice. Will I find something palatable today? For once, I'd like to crack a chest open and find a mouth-watering hunk of meat. This time at Belmont rank this journal. <laughs> Ooh. A war horse's key. Okay. Ah. Good. I was not ready for that. I'm so happy, but... <laughs> it doesn't, like, fire out! It just is! City and equipment? Does a thing. There you go. Oh, oh. Powerful toad. You can't fool me.
rude IMO. <laughs> See, here's the thing. I can't walk through the door, so it's just, uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Like, give me a thing on the map that says you could not go through this door because... Wait, mini-map editor. Oh! Interesting. Hi. Fancy a ride, Why? Are you offering one? <sighs> Miriam, don't. <laughs> I could take you someplace most interesting. <laughs> Miriam, don't. Bob, of course, is that obstacle standing oh. squarely in our path. See? I doubt I would be able to push it aside. A shame you don't have a giant hand. Ah. A wild and crazy thing one could do, giant hand. He's not wrong, but he shouldn't say it. If I drop here... No, we've been down there. Okay. Alright, well, let's explore up there then. Got the floating pig. Okay. Oh. There we go. Wait, AP armor piercing, not anti personnel. Okay. If I want to frog straight up. Really? Nothing here? All right. Well. It's okay. We got more areas to explore. And we got plenty of time left cuz again, folks, this is Extra Life 2021. We are here for 24 hours this weekend. I love this room. See, like this room feels like a room you could have a cool ass boss battle and or cutscene in. Here's the secret. When you let shaders take it, here we go. Barbados. True arrow. What is in my head? Is that the arrow that struck me? Yeah, it is. Ah. When you do 3D games and you let, you know, so much of the visual design be dictated by, um, what do you call it? By like shader calculations. Some things that you want to be obvious and visual, vis visual, visible, uh, bye, uh, end up getting lost and things maybe unintentionally stand out. Sometimes you're just gonna, sometimes just, just draw it. Just draw it by hand. Make sure everything looks exactly how you would want it to look. It reads the way you want it to read. Hand-drawn pixel art still good, actually. This is the sound of me getting out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Orbit a wheel. Down, left, up, right. All right. Could have gone extremely badly for me. Moving too fluidly. Huh. 
is that like like an expectation you have from like old uh like Symphony of the Night when when you know because pixel art has usually more limited frames. What do you think about the like um like when people as like an animation exercise are just like I tripled the number of frames that uh Samus NES version has. Because there, there was the, um, the like, 60 FPS... Here we go. Now we're talking. There was that, like, 60 FPS, uh, like, algorithm that, like, somebody pulled into a website so you can just test it out. And, like, I hate the way that that makes sprites look. It just, like... You know, it... it, it an algorithm like that doesn't know the intention of animation, and so it, like, tweens together the wrong bits. But, oh, um, no, that's actually a boss fight, ain't it? Do it! Shoot me! Do it! Come on! I got a dreadful rag. There we go. Well, I knew if there was the one and a boss fight, this had to have been close by. Oh, yeah, no, I think it's, you know... Like, it, it's... it's Viewing something with a critical eye and getting specific about it doesn't mean that you're putting down the work. A lot of people, like, feel like you're putting down the work, but it's just, like... To me, the more effort you put into, like, viewing and observing something, the more that I take, like, oh... You are spending the energy on this thing, so that's a sign that you care about this thing, you know? Um, that's... Stop right there. That's David Hayter. <gasps> I knew what you are. That ghastly air about you. That's Zangetsu. The reek of sorcery, Shardbinder. Of course it is! Of course I got David Hayter to voice the edgelord that I wanted to play as. It's as was foretold. Great, love it. Also, like you gotta admit, like like even if the animation isn't to your your exact preference, like I'm a pretty big fan of the design so far. Like it is kind of extra, but it doesn't necessarily feel busy. And a lot of things still like feel like they fit with each other. Like Miriam's got main protagonist fashion disease, but aside from that, like I, I do like it. <sighs> And what am I to make of you? Me? I am your executioner. Mm! We fight! <laughs> that got me. I thought there was going to be more dialogue. <laughs> I got gamer fuel in my eye. Now I'm gonna see like gamers. I love this dude. <laughs> Hey, this ain't going well. Is there anything I can just eat? Nope, I only have food mats. Oh! Missed it. Wow! Game over. Please kick me to the title screen. Hey, Rad. You know what I like? Even matches. Fighting against something like myself. Oh, okay. Just... Hey, let me go um, home and see if I can cook a little food. 
Hey, hound skin. What did I need the hound skin for? More importantly, what did I need for the bunny ears? It's also the fact that he makes two death noises. He goes, hey! Oh! It's like he improv and then remembered what his actual line was supposed to be. Ooh! There we go. It's good to see you. What are we transmuting this time? We're cooking! We can't cook anything. <sighs> we need rice. Oh, uh, about the castle. It may not be much help, but let me tell you what I know. The castle itself was summoned from hell, demons and all. Cool. But the site it rests on is where the Alchemists Guild once lay. Of course it is. So you may find traces of our facilities intermingled with the rest. The worlds are merging! Manhattan and dino Hatton have become one! Now that you mention it, I do remember seeing an area dedicated to the study of Eastern mysticism. Yes, and another of us was researching how to create giant organisms. Listen! Some people have a thing for big boys. And, you know, you, that's not something to be held against them. Anyway, just be mindful of the facility's existence. The knowledge may keep you out of harm's way while you explore. Right. Thank you. Wish there had been a mirror on the boat. Eh, it's, I mean, it's not that far back there from here, but still. Hello. How can I help you? Hmm. Well, okay. Hey, you got rice? You ain't got rice? Uh oh. Is this rough? Is this rough? Then we have a deal. Is this rough? Then we have a deal. Is this many thanks? Is this thank you? Is this right? Many thanks. Is this many thanks? I still hear magic carpet ride. Thank you. I'll be. I had lunch before the stream, and it was breakfast, but... Okay, I can make butter, I can make red bean paste, I can make Chinese noodles, and I can make pasta. Okay, but, um, I just had a sandwich, it's... I, I'm, it always took me a long time after I wake up to get hungry, um, and I was like, no, I know I need to eat before the stream starts. Uh, uh, ooh, I can make manju. Beast milk! I wasn't sure if that's what it said. Um, so, probably around, like, the 4 or 5 o'clock hour, I'm gonna have, like, a real satisfying dinner. Oh, uh, okay, if I make the red bean paste, I can make manju. Flour, baking soda, sugar. I'm gonna need more sugar. I'll go with this. Great. Right. Alfred was your master, wasn't he? Former master. Why? <laughs> beast milk. I mean beast milk. I mean beast milk. I mean. I don't know. I was just wondering if you remember anything about him that I don't. Fair enough. As I recall, he was studying ways of drastically slowing down objects. Time wizard! He was a genius, to be quite honest. But I have no respect for that now. Why not? Because 
He fought against sacrificing you right to the final moment. Only to change his mind like a coward. Really? That's interesting. I see. Thank you. There are like... There are more story bits pertaining to like the relationship behind these characters that I was not I have expecting. New to offer you. Is it red bean paste? What are you looking to buy? It's red bean paste. Uh, sugar. You know what's important? Sugar. Any thanks. Thank you. I'll be. See, I want a right bumper, just like, like hot dash into a, a sprint. It's good to see you. What are we transmuting this time? Hot dash. Manju! I'll go with this. Let's do this. Great. Hey, can I enhance a shard now? No. True arrow. Huh. Now I want to release Toad, is the thing? See, either of these would be good to up. Durable rag. I got a different kind of rag. I got the hound skin. Hemp. Oh right, I need to go talk to the bounty lady. How was it you figured out a way to stop the crystal from corrupting me? I hate to say it, but I borrowed a bit from Alfred's research. He was studying ways to slow down objects. My attempts only worked when I placed Enochian script equivalent to what he chose in the same circular pattern. That's so he tattooed around the crystal and that stopped the spreading. That's her, what her tattoos are. Okay. Uh, I think I understand. Sort of. Don't worry, Miriam. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Do you now? I understand that you're far smarter than me. And a poor teacher, apparently. No, no, no. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, dude. I know what's up. I know how it be. Any targets for me? Here's what I've turned up on the monster. Oh wow! I got three of them done. Is there hemp? Well, that's just straight up armor. Dull hammer. Oh. oh, that's gonna be race bolt. I should backtrack and get three dull hammers just to do that because that'll be food and that'll be um, Good work. health. Let's. Ah. Uh. We can just go do it. I'm not worried about getting messed up unless I step out here and there's immediate. Hi! <sighs> I'm glad me fields are rid of those monsters. But they're in a terrible state. I'll need to replant everything. What will you grow? Well, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Where are my manners? I'm Harry. Miriam. Tell me, Miriam, do you have anything I might be able to grow? Because if you let me do the farming, I'll give you your share of the harvest, and you won't even have to lift a finger. Oh. Oh, all right. I'll keep an eye out. Good. I'll be waiting in the fields. Sure. Half potato. This? Sure. I'll get to work. <laughs> These things take time to grow. Okay. Uh, well, I guess your field isn't on fire. Just your barn. Just whatever was inside your barn. Oh, hey, lady. What a bloodbath. We were slaughtered. Huh. But you're not like us. You're strong. I saw you fighting. Oh, it was more luck than skill. Oh, humble, too. My name is Abigail. What's yours? Miriam. Well... Miriam, might I ask you a favor? I want to give the dead a proper burial. Of course. Well, 
Though that's not going to be possible for some. In the very least, though, I'd like to bury some keepsake for each of them. A Valkyrie like you should have no trouble finding such things. Can I count on you? I'll see that you're rewarded. I'd be happy to do it. Thank you. Then, let me show you. I thought they were about to... The tunic, that's the thing I sold, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, and there's rice. Oh, okay. I thought they were about to get into, like, what do you mean a Valkyrie? And it's like, oh, suddenly Miriam is going to be seen as, like, not a shard bearer, but as, like, a mythical figure. Like, she, she is recognized in the local, like, mythical culture, you know? Thank you. Alright, I'll find another tunic that I won't sell this time. Oh, to be a big rat who makes all the rules. Okay. Dollar heads, right here? No. There we go. One. Oh, we dropped something. You know, the best thing about video games grinding for mats and XP. Did I say best? I meant sarcasm. Ugh. I don't want writhing limbs. Okay, let's go talk to Lindsay? Is that her name? There we go. Giant rat shard. Call for giant rat. I'm the big rat who makes all the rules. <laughs> oh, hey, he planted. Cool. Uh, you. Have you learned any? Here's what I've. Good work. Have you learned any? Here's what I've. No. Nope. Okay. Maybe new ones will spark after. Um. Hi, Miriam. What are we transmuting this time? I can make brat. Now I have... I didn't get rice. Rice comes from the other lady. Right, 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 right. What exactly is the Liber Logaya? Well, it's a book. A book written by an alchemist named John D. It's written in Enochian script, which is said to be the language of angels. Yes, I've heard that word before. I just don't remember where or the context. The book has the power to summon good spirits. Oh, good. But demons are not good spirits. Oh. Power is power. If you can summon good spirits, then all it takes is some changes to the structure of the right to summon something else entirely. I suppose that makes sense. Few researchers come up with some wild ideas. Doing different things makes different things happen? Is this a really that... Okay. Um... Yeah, like, I got some stuff, but whatevs. Let's go fight then get to... Maybe we can win this time. Ah, right. Ooh. 
still not over that. <laughs> e oh. Blah. The doble. All right, we'll get this here. We've done some work. We talked to some kind folks. Now let's go beat up an edgelord. Video games are about fulfilling fantasies. They're about wish fulfillment. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you something about my middle school days. Stop right there. I knew what you are. <sighs> oh, this dude is super cool, though. Go Mitsatsu, baby. Love the Mets. Ah. Yep, 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 yep. Oh! Oh! Hey, listen, it, you know, much like art, fantasies are based on real life, but can be fiction. And it's a good thing that we have fiction, so that way we can realize that, which uh, we can't, or would be um, unwise to fulfill in reality. So like, hey. Glad everybody's getting some level of satisfaction, you know? That's that's good for people. <sighs> Me? I am your execution. What a freaking edge lord. I missed! Step doesn't backstep enough. Oh, I can do like cross ups, mix ups. Oh, 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 that was a cool thing to happen. I should heal right now. <laughs> I didn't buy any new potions, I just made food. Wow, managed you good, and I've eaten it for the first time now. Wah! Yeah, get hit. That's a move! Whoa! Right there! Sea urchin. Oh, and I had three of those! <laughs> oh, he explodes now. There we go. Samurai showdown achievement. Cease this at once, Zangetsu. Uh, here we go. How many times do I have to tell you? Our enemies are the demons and those in league with them. <laughs> oh no. Is Edgelord Himbo? Could it possibly be? And I say, what is the difference? The alchemists were the gunmen. The shardbinders the gun. All must be dismantled. In the case of the alchemists, you are right. They coveted the powers of hell and must pay for it. Okay, I mean, maybe not a himbo. What, what's, what's the triad? 
smart, con no, kind, dumb, and ripped. I mean, I think he's ripped. He's not kind. But Miriam he's dumb. is not like them. She is fighting for us at great personal risk. Really? You forget how many of our friends perished for similarly misplacing their faith. See, I think in a way he might think he's being kind because like he's kind of seeking revenge. He is he's not like he he's going by a sense of justice. But I don't think that's the kind of kind that that qualifies for him though. And do I look as weak? Look closer. <laughs> I was bored with her anyway. Do your job, Zongetsu. You need to put a stop to Alfred. And I will. But you listen to me, Shardbinder. If you value your life, then stay out of my sight. You can hold me to my word, Dominique. But don't presume to tell me what else I can or cannot do. I apologize for my acquaintance. He had no right to speak to you like that. Pay it no mind. I've been through worse. I want you to know that I trust you, Miriam. And nothing anyone says could ever sway that trust. Oh, well, you have my thanks. It's nice to know that I have someone on my side. Zangetsu is a demon hunter from a land far to the east. In the tumult of a decade ago. Tumult? God, ooh. Like, yeah, root of tumultuous, but I feel like I never really hear it in, in that conjugation. That's conjugation, right? I don't know if conjugation applies to that, or if it's just changing the verb depending on the tense. Fair. But consider this. You smiled because you know what's coming. You don't know exactly what's coming, but you know the category of what's coming, what it'll be in. Consider this. Conjugation. Can he fix it? Conjugation. Yes, he can. Well, it doesn't fit to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so... Weird and elusive. Yeah, I do. Perhaps even longer. <laughs> Demons robbed him of everything precious to him, and he's despised everything to do with them since. His strength, however, is second to none. I saw it for myself. I could tell he was holding back, but he was a handful regardless. Maybe it was a lack of conviction that dulled his blade. Hmm. Well, I'll be off then. I mustn't leave Anne alone for too long. Oh, goodbye. Um, ouch. Let me backtrack for a hot second. Didn't get to level up off the boss, but I got to level up right there. Okay. Alright. Um. So, I hadn't considered this part of it, but, uh, we're, got, we're coming up to, like, about a half hour left until I have to, um, call it for this block to prepare for the next block. Um, but this is a game with, uh set save points. You can't just save anywhere, so... They gotta... What? Okay. I guess I'm going to have to pay attention and run... leave myself enough time to get back to a save point. That's fine. I just gotta remember to do it. Uh, yeah, like 240 maybe. It should take more than five minutes to run back to a save point. They're, they're oft found enough. 
these are all going to be different pathways, aren't they? Huh? Hey, I'm back here now. Dorcas. I got a sword. A large sword with a blade that rotates like a drill. That's a great sword. Oh, I got a Morgenstern. A morning star. Got it. The Ulfbert. Yeah, no, I... We have guests lined up for Extra Life this year. Um, so, you know, I, I pretty much always take like a 10 to 15 minute break between blocks to, you know, change tech if we have guests, get them in and out, stretch my legs, get some water, do all of that sort of thing. <gasps> oh! Parry! I can parry with the Nodachi. Cool. Yeah... Honestly, I would have things running like nonstop if um, uh, uh, I felt like I could ask anybody to be like a, a full-time co-host on this. Um, but generally speaking, I'm like, no, doing this for, for 24 hours is a headache enough for me. I'm not going to ask that of anybody else. So. What does it look like? That's not answering the question, Miriam. I I'm not sure. Your body is covered with weird decorations. Oh, what, so you're not going to give her the job? Uh, yes, but these are... These are all the rage in Paris. I mean, I bet they would be. Oh, Paris. Wow, I've never been to Spain. Uh, oh, the name's Benjamin. All right. Well, he's dumb, he seems kind. How do we get his shirt off to find out if he's ripped? <laughs> Benjamin, you shouldn't be here. I oh, know, I know. But I'm so scared I can't even stand up. Damn. I just want to go home. <laughs> Me too. Do I have any items that could help get him home? Uh, yeah. I assume a waystone would. This, this will help me escape. I think so. Yes. Picture your house. And don't let go of that thought. Alright, alright. I'll try it. Whoop. Bye. I think it worked. <laughs> oh, dang. That dude got homeward boned. That's the one where the cat and the two dogs uh, go for a very long walk. Hey, guy. There we go. There we go. Yep, and you do that. Oh, he didn't leap. <laughs> he also exploded. Kind, beefy, stupid. I, so I was, I was close. I had ripped instead of beefy. <laughs> My guy. Ooh. So Originally these corridors had the letter C D at the top and same thing at the night. And you could read that as it's Castle Dracula, or you could read that as this is the passageway where we need to read new data off of the C D. And while this game is not C D based Theoretically, it still takes an amount of time to load um, data into memory from, from you know, data storage, which that time is, is dependent on amount of data and, like, processing speed and power. Um, but I wonder if it is actually serving the same purpose, because they're, they're doing the same thing again, and it's like, aren't we past that now? And it's like... I mean, we probably could get around it, but... Hey, buddy, are you a Bloodborne? Oh. No, you're a Sweeney Todd. Okay. Huh, what's in here? Critical swing. Snake bite. Okay, so whips. 
whip it fine. Whoops, hey. This is, I'm guessing this is the one we'll end up saving at when the time comes. It is a Sweeney Todd, he's a killer barber. Okay. Yeah, you know, sometimes a fight is just combat noises coming out of a cloud, right? It's very Hanna-Barbera. Uh... Okay. I get from a painting. Oak. Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Oh my god, it's got some physics on it. You can kick it around like a soccer ball. Oh, that's great. That's great. Good details. What? Oh! That's a white shard. Some kind of permanent effect. Turn on or off. Did not consume MP. Shortcut. Oh. Wait, so I just got a... I just got a loadout wheel. And I just undid it. Oh boy, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this right? This is... That's just better. Oh, God! I don't know why I didn't expect that. Creepy. Is that about? Uh huh. Cursed. Oh God. Ah. I do not like being cursed. Okay, uncursed. Oh God. Ah. <sighs> Bye. Hey. What's our dog? Nothing. What's our dog with you? It's come on. Come on, folks. I can't write all the jokes myself. Oh god. Oh. Are we back in the initial? thing sequence segment surrogate something there we go I'll take that give me a new utility another shortcut shortcuts yes now I have three shortcuts open um piece current okay I'm not like a big shortcut haver in the first place, so. Um. Alrighty. Oh, we have it downstairs to explore, too. Rat over there. I like how 
much of this is open to begin with? Like, normally I wouldn't like that because it's just like, all right, well, which is the way I'm supposed to go? What's the intended path? And it's like... Hmm. Well, I do feel like it pretty immediately just made that clear. Ugh. You know, fishing? You know, fishing? Oh, I don't have like a... Oh, hey! You're home. <laughs> I returned him to his family. Ah! 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 Rude. I can't believe they put summons on the directional input. Just blah! Oh no! Nobody told me this game was Pokemon. Whoops. Up. I really like that they basically have different death animations now that I'm one-shotting them. Yeah, again with you. Yeah, that's the move I'm trying to upgrade. Drop your tears. Drop your tears. What? Hi, guy. I'm trying to tell. I feel like there is something slightly off about the speed of her walk animation and the speed she actually moves across the floor. Like, her feet look like they're a little slipping, you know? Like when you're walking across hardwood in socks. Um, I mean, I've seen plenty of games that it's way worse. Like, I can't tell if that's what I'm seeing. It's more apparent on, like, um, stairs here because, well, okay, because technically, if you're maintaining a constant, like, vector motion, then doing it diagonally actually means you are moving faster because you are. Your, your. Because triangles, so like moving diagonally means you're moving this way and this way, so you end up moving faster. No, that means that you're not if the vector direction is the same. But if your vector direction isn't the same, yeah, the horizontal speed is the same, but you're adding a vertical speed, which means your vector speed increases. Um, so she's actually going to move faster there, which would put her walk and animation speed more out of sync with her movement speed. That's the way you all feel after I start explaining these things, right? Oh. Uh, not that. I'm going this way. And we had our fight in here. See, this is a cool room, and I remember it's like, oh, it's a fight. This is where we meant to get to. Can't go this way. But we can go this not this way, that's not a way. We can go this way. And then not drop all the way this time? Do drop all Oh! Oh, so we got a sword from him and we got the heretical grinder. I mean, I may not know what that is, but it sounds, uh, good. <laughs> this one just dropped iron. Underachiever. 
It's like, you know, uh, your cousin Joey over there, you just dropped a heretical grinder. When are you gonna do something with your time and drop more than just iron? Do not like those boys. Frog deal with this guy. Oh, wait, what's yellow? That's new. <clears throat> Passive shard. Automatically increases dagger and rapier damage. Ooh. Okay, I see the utility there. Eat him. Go get him. Go get him. He's scared of frog. And rightly so. Now we're talking. Yeah, it's just called frog skip right here. You just throw a frog at him and then you don't got to deal with him. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to get morph ball is what this is telling me? And hey, what's in here? Nothing. Uh, something big? It's got whiskers. Is it cute? Well, explore this room first. This is something. Something I can't use yet? Hmm. Alright, I have explored this room as it turns out. Yes! Yes! No! <laughs> I don't want to fight! Nyaban! No! Overwhelmed of frogs. Okay, so... Reanimated cat that perished inside the castle and has a grudge to settle. Oh, and he does drop a shard. And yes, I am going to try to grind for some sort of cat drop. Wrong one. There we go. Ah, uh, it's not a cat drop. That's a cat drop. That's a cat drop. That's a cat drop. That's a that's a that's a cat drop. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're doing better now. <laughs> oh, what if I just had every ear? <laughs> Oh my god. This game's silly. I like it. Oh, hi. Whoa, hey! Okay. Okay. Yo, frog good. I feel like here we all knew that dance mask. Dance mask. Uh, better. Hey, what is that? Huh. I know I looked at a book that told me what some of those icons mean. I really do not remember. A demon! Oh. Wait! I'm a good killer barber! Sweeney Todd! Teeny Swad. 
No. Witches and cutthroats all say as much. I'm not a cutthroat. I've never cut anyone. Uh, well, well, I have, but but it's these scissors. They've cursed me to become a demon. Then why not cast them aside? Cast them aside? If I could take them off, I wouldn't be cursed. Duh. Duh. <sighs> the name's Todd. Ah! Ah! curse will be lifted is if I barber my way through 666 different hairstyles. Is she gonna actually go to the town and give me haircuts? Well, why not just make the hairstyles up then? Lop a little off here or there. Ah, there's a penalty for sloppy lopping. <laughs> if I don't give my patrons good haircuts, the scissors kill them dead. You have the worst curse ever. <laughs> yes, quite literally, yes. Please, can you help me find information about hairstyles? I'll cut you for free. <laughs> that is not an enticing offer. No, 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 not, not cut you, cut it. Uh, wait, what are you even worried about? You look like you could rip me into a hundred pieces. Hmm, I really could. All right, you have a deal. There's no way that there's so 666 so hairstyles. Shall huh? I take a little off the top? Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Costume perfect as is. Oh no. Oh dearie me. Sorry folks, this is the rest of the stream. Actually, it probably is the rest of the stream. I got, what, seven minutes left before I should really take a break and get the next set up? Skin color, fine. Eye color, all fine. <coughs> the look suits you fine. Thank you. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to go backtrack to the save room. Hi. Bye. of something over there. Frog just takes care of things. Uh, it is down here, right? Yeah. I could probably slice through a few more paintings on the way, don't you think? Juggles. There you go. Worth the effort. Oh, you can kick it while it's all the way back there. I say kick it as though kicking is the only verb. 
This is my only verb. Demon dog fang. Grandma Coco, Abuelita Coco. Hey, that was a good movie. Listen. Is there anything we can do? No, not really. Yeah, I like this game. I see why other people like this game. They did do a good job of like, wait, have my feet always been like that? Is that the lethal boots? Wait. Yes, those are specifically the lethal boots. They have claws. Yo. It's a good look. This hasn't changed anything, though, right? Oh, you know what I can do? Uh, I can't do that. I'm not near the teleporter. I was going to say I could go back and see if I can buy a tunic for uh, the lady to bury. Oh, you know what? We got time for that. I can at least get over there. But, yeah, this game is good this game is fun it feels good i feel like it looks a little i mean it looks a little weird because i am making you know in my mind direct comparisons to to freaking symphony of the night because i mean look at it um and that's not even a bad thing it's just kind of an unavoidable thing right um i mean it's it's the guy right like i'm, I'm not getting that mistaken like that's that's the point of it. Um, but it's super good, and it... So far, it's capturing everything you want out of it. Um, and, like, yeah, personally, maybe I would have liked another, like, you know, pixel art version of it. There's a thousand indies that are doing it. It's doing so much... To, to evoke it to to basically like redo it but be something new like it I'm trying to tell if it feels like something new yet like it's like I'd say the shard system feels like something new but it kind of doesn't because um of the GBA games like it it, it feels like those GBA games where you you know uh or whatever specific one that was with Soma where it's just like carriage that will take me across the courtyard bridge but a stone statue is blocking the way what a coincidence. A message arrow just arrived from Zangetsu. In the Temple of Rainbow Glass, seek the demon carrying a stone statue in tribute. Perhaps that demon's shard is just the power you need. Does Zangetsu have Herculean strength? How did he manage to cross the bridge? He drew a little sketch here at the bottom of a burly <laughs> man leaping a great chasm. <laughs> Arya had so much. Yeah, it was, um. The, um. But, like, yeah, that had the, like, um. Monsters drop skills, right? So it's, it feels very much like that, but, like, that's fine. That was a good system. This is a good system. It's got the, the cutscenes. It's, it's like, it's. I don't know if it feels like it's doing anything new. But it is, like, doing a good job of, like, cherry-picking the things that this series, like, got known for. And it's new characters, it's a new tale, it's like, I'm, I don't think we'll be fighting a Dracula, I don't think this will secretly be a Dracula game. Even if it is, eh, not really a complaint. But, like, it's, 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 it's setting up a universe, like, this idea of, like, shard bearers, and again, like, what... Why aren't alchemists completely illegal right now? Ten years ago ain't that long. Um. And who did set it up so that these two are bound? Because, like, Johannes specifically said, like, there was a an advanced magic spell put over her to cause her to sleep and to wake up at that particular moment. So, like, story-wise... You know, I, I always felt like the cutscenes in this are like, it's it's all, you know, 
portraits like this. Somebody walks into a room, you have a portrait talk, and then they walk out. But like the pieces that they're dropping and like the the, the characters and relationships and, and world that they're building, I'm curious about it. So I do want to know more about that. Oh come on! <laughs> Is there anything else you need? Yeah, you got it. How about that tunic back? Yes. Is this right? Many thanks. Thank you. I'll. Cool. And then that gives me a pretty cool idea of where to start next time. Let's drop this off with the lady. I, I feel bad that I immediately sold that tunic that I had. Hey, is them potatoes? How are you, Miriam? Getting by. But like the adding the like, hey, we're doing 3D models and we're going to, you know, change the show your equip stuff. That's like the little details that like you always like you want from like any game. And it's like, cool, you're doing it. Thank you. Here's what you asked for. I'm working on it. I'm going to do this, this is first. It. That's one more villager we can lay to rest. Here's your reward. Yes, let's get this rice. Potatoes. I finished the harvest. Ugh. Here's your share. Here Got potatoes. Plant something. Yeah, how about uh, corn? Can you plant this? Sure, I'll get to work. Thank you. All right, now we go save. Hey, Johannes. I'm looking forward to playing more of this. I was about to say, like, oh, I can't wait to be done with the stream so I can go back to playing this. No, I'll be playing more of this during this stream. So I'm psyched. I hope y'all are. I'm psyched. Uh, oh, did that have, like, a completion percent? Um, map completion, 14%. Okay. Sure. All right, uh, that's going to do it. Let me bring us back over here. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I say with the mighty strength of uh, being forever sleepy. Um, folks, uh, thank you for uh, hanging out with me so far. Again, this is the first block of many for this weekend for Extra Life 2021. You're going to get the full... Uh, top of the hour info dump when we come back and we'll be back uh, in about 10 to 15 minutes top of the hour uh, when we will have a special guest and we will get into all of it then all right so don't go nowhere stick around i'll see you soon